Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to track my food for a week and I'm gonna show you what I'm eating and um, count up all the micronutrients, macronutrients and um, yeah, see, see what I'm putting into my mouth, into my body. So for any of you that have been following me for a while, you'll know that I don't like tracking calories. Um, I don't believe in calories in, calories out you know, for fat loss and all that. Uh, I've got a few articles on this. I'll put one of them on calories below so you can go check that out if you if you want to know more of my backstory or, or the context I'm in when I'm, when I'm going to do this experiment. Um, but, so then you're probably thinking, well, why am I going to track my food for a week? Uh, a couple of reasons. Firstly, I often get asked, you know, what I'm eating, what my diet is. Um, so, I think figured why not just show you and secondly I'm kind of curious as to what I am eating um, not from a macro point of view not from a caloric point of view I, I don't care like I I don't care how many calories I'm eating because um, I know what I'm eating is really good food and I live a good lifestyle and I'm healthy so don't care um, but I do care about like the nutrient point of view like I'm curious like what's my vitamin A intake what's my you know vitamin B6 intake like um, so I was like, you know what, let's, let's, let's track everything and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll plug the numbers into, uh, I think it's Chronometer, uh, I'll, I'll run the numbers through, a really good site and um, yeah, you guys can watch and learn and be entertained or inspired or motivated or shocked uh, in the process. So all I'm going to do for a week, I'm going to track everything I eat and then I'll run, crunch the numbers, run a blog, and which you're probably looking at right now. Uh, if you're not, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link below and you'll, you'll go to the blog to see the numbers. And um, I'm not going to give you a full explanation on every meal because it's going to be, what, 21 odd meals plus a few snacks. That's a lot. So all I'm going to do is either take a photo or um, do a quick overview of what I'm eating at each meal time. And uh, if you want to know more, like the why or, you know, what exactly I ate or what brand it was or whatever it may be, um, just drop me a message in the comments below and I'll happily answer them. So today is Wednesday morning and this is my first meal of the day and um, here's what I'm having. I'm having two bits of uh, organic sourdough paleo British toast um, with New Zealand uh, grass-fed butter and um, some wild blueberry jam. And I'm washing that down with uh, some coffee, it's a wheat coffee, and there's a little bit of milk in there with two teaspoons of um, sucanut sugar in it, which is like your unprocessed sugar. And, um, and then I'll have a glass of raw milk after that, because I like my milk. And then I'm also going to have one of Rebecca's cookies that she made last night, her gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Um, yes, I'm having cookie for breakfast. So. Uh, yeah, that's breakfast. I'll see you at lunchtime. All right, so it's lunchtime and I have got uh, some curry that I made the other night. So we've got beef broth, we've got some stewing beef, uh, organic potatoes, pumpkin, and uh, homegrown pumpkin and some onion. And then you've got all the spice mix and everything in there. Actually, there's some palm oil in there as well. Uh, then I've got some homemade kombucha, a cup of that. Um, I've got my chicken pate that I make, which is organic livers, chicken livers, mushrooms, free range organic, uh, no, sorry, free range, traditionally cured bacon, butter. And then I've got um, organic rice crackers, plain rice crackers. So that's my lunch. All right, dinner time, we have sausages, oh, sausages from our home killed cow, or beefy, some homemade sauerkraut, uh, organic veggies, some sweet potato baked in coconut oil with some butter on top, and I just made some juice with two oranges, three oranges, a couple mandarins, a lemon, a grapefruit, and, oh, and also I had, um, I had another cookie and a glass of milk today. Morning guys, so Thursday morning, uh, breakfast time, and I am having very similar to what I had yesterday. Uh, I got two bits of toast with a lot of New Zealand butter on it um, and the wild blueberry jam. Uh, that's the organic sourdough toast. We're also having some rolled oats, organic rolled oats. We soak them for 24 hours in apple cider vinegar and water. Uh, organic banana 
and then I've got a weak coffee with some raw milk and a couple of teaspoons of the Sucanet sugar again. Um, so yeah, similar to what I had yesterday. Uh, also last night I had one of my blueberry muffins, uh, tapioca flour, coconut flour, butter, organic blueberries, some sugar. Uh, I'll work out the numbers with that. I had one muffin and another pretty big glass of milk. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm looking forward to tallying up all the numbers. I reckon yesterday I probably drank nearly a litre of milk, which is kind of typical for me. So anyway, uh, I'll see you at lunch. All right, lunch is done. It was the remaining uh, curry I had in the fridge. So another serving of that. Um, I just got back from town and it is like two o'clock. So it was a little bit of a later lunch. Uh, I also had about half a dozen uh, camel dates, dry dry dates. They're not actually camel dates, but that's the brand here in New Zealand. Uh, I call them camel dates. Uh, dry dates, and I had uh, some macadamia nuts, probably about half a dozen macadamia nuts, um, and some energy balls, which are gluten-free. What, what's in them? Dates, cashews, sunflower seeds, raisins, coconut, salt. So I uh, had about four of them, and then uh, I drank a lot of milk, so, this was full at the start of lunch. Um, so that's like a, I think it's a liter bottle. So it's probably about 800 mils of milk. So um, raw milk, by the way, grass fed raw milk, all that good stuff. So yeah, that was lunch and dinner tonight is um, fish. All right, so dinner time and I've got fish, some gurnard, um, cook the, cooking that in butter. Uh, and then we've got some steamed veggies coming up. Uh, organic carrots and organic uh, broccoli. Um, oh, and then I don't know if you can see that, but uh, some sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries were done in coconut oil and um, camel fat. Had some camel fat in the cupboard, so I uh, cooked that up. Um, yeah, and then that will be washed down with some more milk, which this bottle is nearly finished. Um, and that'll be my dinner, and I'll. I'll measure it all out and plug in the numbers later on. Um, but yeah, I'm just giving you a bit of an overview. Also cooked up, or haven't cooked up, but have prepared uh, apple crumble. So it's like coconut flour, tapioca flour, rice flour, um, organic apples, organic sugar, cinnamon, some lemon juice, and spray-free macadamia nuts. So that makes the, uh, that. Makes that. Um, I don't know, to be honest, I don't really feel like it right now, but I just wanted to make it up while I was in the kitchen. Um, but that will be consumed over the next few days, so you'll see that on my log, and um, I'll plug all those numbers in as well. All right, I'm off to eat. Friday morning breakfast, I have uh, some muesli with um, apple crumble that I heated up, that I made last night. So the muesli is organic oats, uh, organic sunflower, seeds, pumpkin seeds, I think there's a few raisins in there as well. Um, I soak the oats and dry them out um, to activate them and stuff. And then yeah, the apple crumble. And then yogurt, so I've got some organic uh, yogurt with a little bit of bush honey in it, so that'll be good. And then I'll wash that down with another glass of raw milk. All right, lunchtime. So I did have a bit of a snack a few hours ago, which was two squares of 85% uh, dark chocolate and some macadamia nuts. Uh, lunchtime is, I'm just emptying out the fridge with all the, all the leftovers. So we've got, uh, let's get this on camera. We've got some um, two sausages from the other night and uh, some leftover roast chicken. So I heated all that up. So quite a lot of meat, probably a bit more meat than I'd usually have in one sitting, but it needs eating. And then I'm having that with some uh, sauerkraut, some salsa that we, um, that Rebecca made up from summertime from uh, zucchinis and a few other things and then half an avocado and then I've got some um, kombucha which I will have with that alright so dinner tonight is uh, rice, organic rice, organic chicken with some veggies and ginger and soy and some organic juice so I actually uh, stopped documenting my food on the camera, uh, my meals on the camera. To be honest, I was getting a little bit over it and um, I'm sure it wasn't that entertaining from your guys' point of view. Um, so sorry about that. But anyway, the week's come and gone 
and um, I've got my full seven day list. So what I'm going to do now is um, populate all this data into Chronometer and get the, the juicy stats that uh, we're, all, we're all looking forward to. Uh, a quick overview of my diet and again if you're watching this video on my site just you should be able to see everything below in the blog. If you're on YouTube click the link and you'll be taken over to my blog and you'll I'll, I'll still break down every single meal I had for the seven days. Um, so you know if you were curious to see what I was eating you can see it all there. Um, but out of the uh, seven days, I don't know, 30 odd meals I had, um, only one was not prepared from myself. Uh, and that was the very last meal of the, uh, the week. It was my mother's birthday. So we went out for dinner that night and um, yeah, had some pretty good food there. So that's going to make logging that a little bit tricky because obviously I wasn't weighing everything and I didn't know 100% all the ingredients that were going into each dish. But anyway, uh, it's, it was never going to be perfect anyway. So um, what I'm going to do now is, yeah, plug all this data in and uh, I'll, I'll do a video once I have that data. Oh, and a few observations, a uh, few things I should point out. I did have a lot of toast for breakfast this week. I typically don't have that much toast. Um, usually I'll have some smoothies and, um, you know, bacon, bacon and eggs. Um, uh, what else? Sometimes I'll fast. You know, it's just this week or the last few weeks we've kind of been having a bit of jam butter on toast phase. So uh, that popped up quite a bit. Otherwise, it's a pretty well-rounded, I think it's a pretty good uh, overview of what I typically eat. Um, and the point isn't to show you, you know, oh, he has dates all the time, whatever like that. Uh, whatever, you know, I come up with. It's more just to show, that's my phone ringing. It's more just to show what I do eat and um, see what sort of nutrients and diet. I'm gonna go take that, I'll see you soon. All right, it's Alex here and I've just finished entering all my data at chronometer.com. Uh, I'll put a link to that. It's, it's actually a pretty neat um, tool. It's better than my fitness pal and things like that. Um, and it's free as well. They're saying that I did upgrade to the gold plan because it shows me a little bit more data and some cooler trends and reports, which is going to help me show you all this data. So again, I tracked my uh, meals for seven days, starting on the 15th of August, going through to the 21st of August. Um, and yeah, I've, I've finally logged everything and um, the data is pretty interesting. Uh, I'll cover this more in detail in the written blog below, but I just thought I'd over a few observations. Also, I'll put all this data up, generate the whole report, so you can see everything yourself if you want to pick through. Um, firstly, I know there are some limitations, you know, like some of the things I eat aren't exactly in here. You know, I eat organic raw milk, but that wasn't on here. So uh, I know the butter I eat is grass-fed. It might be very different to the nutrient quality in American butter, for instance. But anyway, we just need to look past that. All right. Um, and some of the weights were kind of guesstimates. They weren't everything wasn't dialed down to the exact gram. Um, what else? Um, for the, like I prepare most, or every, all but one of my meals was prepared by myself. Um, and there were some recipes, you know, like we make some pate and chocolate chip cookies. So I actually went through and built those in chronometer with all ingredients. So it is quite accurate in that regards. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I had a lot of food. So uh, on the Wednesday, four and a half thousand calories. Um, on the Thursday, 4,300. On the Friday, 4,500 calories. On the Saturday, nearly 7,000 calories. How good is that? <laughs> Crazy. Um, Sunday, 4,7. Monday 4-4, four, four, Tuesday 4-2. Four, I actually did a little bit of fasting on that Tuesday, so that's why it's probably a little bit lower. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of um, a lot of food. Way more than I thought. Like, way, way more. I always knew I had a lot of food, but this is crazy. Crazy good, I guess. I mean, I'm not overweight. I'm probably about 12% body fat. So um, yeah, not too worried about that. Uh, and then from a nutrient point of view, I mean... I'm seriously thinking of cutting my supplements right back because I'm smashing some of these targets. I know there are only the RDA numbers, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So um, I've pulled up a few graphs here. So this is the calories consumed over the seven day period. Uh, so we can see here um, that was, you know, the four, seven, the crazy six, seven, 
and then a little bit lower um, at the end there. With some, I had some wine that night. Actually, I had some wine on this uh, cider on the Friday night. I don't know why that's not showing. It should be a little bit higher. But that's what the yellow is there. Um, and from a macronutrient point of view, actually, I'm going to skip back here. Um, yeah, like fit on this Wednesday, 55% fat, 33% carbs, 13% protein, um, which is interesting. That's actually a lot less protein than I thought, especially given all the milk I'm drinking. Uh, like, look at this day, three cups of milk. So that's 750 mils. Uh, another one there, so that's a liter. And then another one there. So 1.25 liters of milk. Uh, if we go to the Thursday, I actually ran out of milk one of these days. So 800 mils um, plus another 800, 1.6 plus one. So there's nearly two liters of milk on the Thursday. Uh, Friday, 500, 750 a liter. So a liter on the Friday. Saturday, 250. 750 total, 750, 1.5, 1.7 liters of milk on the Saturday. This is what I'm saying, so like 1.5 is probably about average, one and a half liters of milk. We, we go through a lot of milk. Uh, well, I go through a lot of milk, I should say. Um, anyway, so let's let's look at some of the macros on the other day. So this is the big seven and a half, seven, uh, six, seven, six and a half thousand, just over six and a half thousand calories, 55% of fats, 32 carbs, 30% protein. That's crazy because it's nearly identical to the other breakdown. Um, let's pick another day here. Um, what day was this? The Monday. 41% fats, 47 carbs, 12 protein. Um, Sunday, 53, 34. 30. Yeah, it's, it's actually all pretty, pretty similar. So, um, yeah, I mean... Cool. All right, so yeah, these graphs. So what did I have? Calories consumed. So you can see that the percentage-wise, it's it's pretty steady. Um, I pulled up this carbs. So I'm doing about nearly 400 to 400 to 600, 400 to 550 grams of uh, carbs a day. Um, so yeah, definitely not a low carb diet. I mean, low carbs like what, 100 and below. So I'm definitely not eating a low carb diet, <laughs> not at all. Uh, all right, let's pull up fat. Let's see what the total fat was. There we go. So 280 grams up to four. So probably averaging, averaging around just below 300 grams of fat. Uh, protein, 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 protein. There's P, 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 protein. About 100. That's, I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, I know there's various calculations you can make with protein and everything like that. Um, I can't even remember it. Was it one to one and a half grams per pound of body weight? Is that it? I can't even remember. But I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that number. I wonder if the, the milk uh, data is a little bit lower in protein in this app than, than um, in real life. Because, yeah, I mean, drinking one and a half liters of milk, I thought that would be a ton of protein. But anyway, um, what other interesting things? Let's see my zinc. Zinc 24 to 31. It's pretty cool. Grams, oh, milligrams, sorry, a day. Um, what did you see? 200 milligrams. So that's, I mean, given my supplements of 500 milligrams to a gram, you know. It's quite low. Vitamin A, this is an interesting interesting one because look, we're in like 30,000 IU here uh, because of all the sweet potato and carrots I consume. And uh, I actually just linked to an article about like potentially vitamin A toxicity uh, and how it may not be that good for us. So that's that's an interesting one. Um, sucrose, this will be pretty high. So I mean, this is going to freak most people out. 60, 70, 120. 15 grams, that sucrose is sugar, right? So 115 grams of sugar. Uh, how funny is that? So that's my honey, my ice cream, my cookies, my uh, apple crumble, um, muffins, um, sugar in my coffee. Uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah, that's all what that is. Plus there's a little bit of, I think it's sucrose. What is it? Lactose. And uh, milk, but anyway, it's quite a lot, huh? I'm, I'm a bit, a bit, a few of you are quite surprised by that. Let's look at pure sugars. 
200 up to 350 grams. So I'm averaging, yeah, about 220 grams of sugar a day. Take that, anti-sugar people. <laughs> um, and this is a typical diet. Remember, I didn't mix anything up here. Like, this is just pretty standard eating. In fact, it's probably not exactly standard because I probably had a little bit more toast, like I said in that previous video. But, um, you know, I'm not going to track this for months or years because it did my head in. In fact, logging all this did my head in. Sodium, uh, I didn't... I have a lot of salt, so this is way off. Um, I didn't add that to chronometer because it would be way, way higher. Um, saturated fat, let's look at this stuff. 150 grams, 250 grams of saturated fat. Uh, potassium. Anyway, I mean, there's a ton of data here, like, as you can see, heaps of data. Omega-6, so I'd like to see this quite low. Uh, 14 grams. It's crazy, even on that really high calorie day, it's still quite low. So that is good. Um, I bet you most people eating a standard diet would be four or five times that. Omega-3, yeah, a little bit lower here, 2.64. So, I mean, they say your ratio should be one to one, kind of one to two or, you know, one to one, some people say, which is just far too much extreme, I reckon. Uh, so I'm probably about one to five here, one to four. Um, yeah, it probably could be improved, um, but I mean the numbers are quite low because I do try to keep my poofers down both omega three and omega sixes, and you can check out that article on poofers on my website if you're worried about that or want to know more about that. Uh, what else? What else is interesting? Iron, yeah, not really worried about that. Um, fructose, twenty grams. 60 grams, I had juice for a couple of days there, so that's that spike. Not worried about that either. Folate, yeah, not worried about that. Um, B12, 20 micrograms. All right, so interesting. All right, so now what I've done is I've generated this report, which I'm going to see if I can, I can print it. See if I can save it as a PDF and link to it uh, in my blog so you can actually download this yourself and look through it and you know if you really want to study it study what i'm eating i don't know why you want to do that but if you're curious then i'm going to make this available uh ignore this weight oh no that's right 95 kilos that's right yeah that's bang on don't ignore that um all right so this is giving me a overall summary for the seven days so on average eating 4800 calories 51 fat 35% carbs, 40% protein. I'm actually really happy with those numbers. It's pretty good. Burned, um, I didn't put any of this data in. This is just taking my size um, and activity rate, but I think that's a load of shit. So, oh, I swore. We'll see. Uh, it's a load of rubbish. Um, and check out my article on calories around that. So, uh, this is based on targets, but again, I didn't change any of this. It's just the preset targets. So it's saying I'm way <laughs> three and a half times over my energy targets, nearly three times over protein, three times over carbs, four times over fat. But anyway, I don't care about those. Uh, this is just a snapshot of a few things. So B12, yeah, way above, iron above, calcium above, vitamin A, way, way above, which could be concerning. Um, I need to look more into the vitamin A. Vitamin C, um, polyunsaturated fat, there was no target there, folate. So everything's over. And this is actually... Uh, what is this? Is this this is over? This must be my average. Yeah, daily average. All right. So let's look at this data. Um, now you'll see here all these vitamins. Everything's over the RDA, and there's probably a lot. Like some foods I logged didn't track the vitamins. All right. You know, some I put in a uh, food item and it only had protein, fat, fat, carbs. It didn't have all the nutrients. So I reckon that'd even be high. Plus the food I'm eating is all organic. Like you know, homegrown or well-grown sort of stuff, like probably better quality than average sort of fruit and veggies um, as well. So it may even be higher again. Um, but the crazy thing is, like, these numbers are way above the RDA numbers or targets, um, like way above. Vitamin E is the only one... Oh, don't worry about water. Vitamin E is the only one that is not hitting the target. And I actually take a vitamin E supplement anyway. Um, some of them are red because I'm saying it's way above, uh, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, but this sort of got me thinking. I was like, you know what? I'm 
probably going to cut right back from supplements after doing this. I did take that Thorn multivitamin. I never take a full dose. I take like one third of a dose and I used to take it just as a, as a top up, um, you know, just to make sure. But after doing this and seeing these numbers and just seeing how much food I eat and I know the food I'm eating is really good, you know, like I won't eat rubbish. I'll happily eat good stuff. That's why I have dessert every day because I know it's good. I guess you could say the Hagen does, does ice cream isn't the best. It's not organic or anything. It is made in France. So, um, I know their milk and dairy products there are really good and it's only five ingredient ice cream. So it's milk, uh, cream, sugar, egg yolks, um, milk I think and then the flavor vanilla so that's why I use that that's probably the worst thing or that would be the worst thing I eat uh, in terms of a quality point of view because you know it's not organic sugar and sugar can be really bad for glyphosate contamination um, the milk has been homogenized and pasteurized um, but at least it's French milk it's not like American which I probably wouldn't consume otherwise so that's probably the worst thing in here um, so knowing that like yeah, I'm, I'm sort of smashing these numbers. Uh, so I'm seriously thinking after doing this, I'm going to cut the supplements for right back down. What will I keep? I'll keep the vitamin C. I'll just have some of that because I take like one or two grams a day. Vitamin D, I don't really take. I just get out in the sun. I mean, maybe in the hot depth of winter, I'll have a few drops here and there, um, but I'm not worried about that. Vitamin E, I will continue to take just to protect against the poofers, um, which were a little bit higher. Uh, than ideal, especially the mega six to three ratio. Um, vitamin A I don't take because I drink so much raw milk and raw cheese. Um, yeah, so like all these B vitamins, like I take a B vitamin every now and then. And of course I've got yellow pea for two days. Um, well, not for two days, but yeah, I mean, looking at these, I'm like, I might as well save my money. Choline, I mean, I'm getting that from all the eggs. Um, what else? Minerals, like sometimes I take trace minerals. But I'm like, well, why? Like, I don't need to. Uh, iron, I've had iron before. Magnesium, I do take at night time because, because I always thought I was quite deficient. And you can see, like, the numbers, that's probably on the lower of all of these targets. I mean, there's two, three, six times and magnesium's just above. So maybe I will continue taking the magnesium with the vitamin E um, and the vitamin C. Um, zinc, like I take zinc every now and then, probably stop it. Potassium, potassium, I take that as well sometimes. Probably going to stop that as well. Uh, I do take iodine. I have been experimenting with high iodine. Um, I still can't figure out what to do around that with uh, Dr. Brownstein's work, but that didn't, wasn't tracked on here anyway. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the key takeaways. It's like, I'm getting a lot of nutrients in my food. <laughs> and now uh, you got to remember my diet was quite extreme in the sense that I'm drinking raw milk, um, pate a couple times a week, like bone broth, lots of veggies, lots of cuts of meat, uh, lots of fruit, lots of veggies, lots of food, hands down. All right. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm not from this data. I'm not going to turn around and tell my clients stop taking supplements because most people aren't eating to the quality or the quantity that I'm eating, um, in which case you probably need those supplements. So I still still stand by the recommendation of supplementing for most people, and I still am going to supplement based on my findings here as well. Anyway, but um, yeah, there's some really cool data. I don't really understand these nutrient balances. Oh, omega six to three, it's saying that I'm okay. Zinc to copper so is on bang on, so that's good because uh, I don't really understand much of that. So that's really good. Uh, potassium to sodium, but I don't. I'm not going to read into that because um, I didn't track all my sodium. My sodium number would be way high. And in fact, sometimes when I do take potassium, I do notice um, sometimes I get little twitches in my leg, like in, in at the end of the night, like restless leg sort of thing. And I, I found potassium's help, so maybe I'll continue taking that given I take so much sodium. Calcium is magnesium. All right, that's just totally messed up. Um, whoops. And I don't know what that is. All right, and uh, yeah, so that's some pretty interesting data. Uh, and then there's a bunch of charts here. And again, I'm gonna hopefully get this video, uh, this document up so you can look at it. This is just nutrient ch nutrient charts. This is fat consumption, protein consumption, omega-6 consumption, omega-3, magnesium, B12, zinc, and then of course my diaries. And then I think what it does is it break down, breaks down each day and then gives you data for that day. So, I mean, there's no point going through this. We're better off just looking at the average. 
because that was the whole point. That's why I wanted to do seven days, not one day. But yeah, that's uh, that's my data. How cool. Very interesting. And I'm never going to do that again. Actually, never say never. I'm in no hurry to do that again because tracking food was not fun. Logging it was not fun. Um, just not fun. I just, anyone that's still tracking their food, like, unless you're doing it, excuse me, I got the hiccups, unless you're doing it as an experiment like I did, yeah, just, just don't. Like, it's not fun. You don't need to do it. Speaking of which, if you are kind of envious of the way I'm eating and, um, you know, I think, wow, he eats so much food and he eats good food. He's having cookies and muffins and ice cream and, you know, lots of butter and toast and coffee and juice and milk. Um, I want to eat like that, but you're thinking, oh, this is just going to totally mess my body up or my health up. Um, that's not necessarily true. And you should definitely consider looking into the, uh, hormone reset program, which is my program that pretty much I've learned from over the years. Uh, everything I've learned over the years with my own health journey, reading books and too many research papers, and also working with like hundreds or dozens at least, uh, of clients, probably, probably near the hundreds now. Um, of clients, it's everything from those years, experiences and learning findings has been condensed into that program and uh, the protocols have been designed to help fix people from the ground up, the gut, the hormones, um, fat loss, everything, it's all in there and you'll come out of it eating what I've just eaten today. Like seriously, you, you could eat that. You're not going to eat that on day one because we're going to fix a lot of problems first but when you come out of it, I mean, you can happily have chocolate chip cookies, gluten-free, homemade, uh, made from quality ingredients for breakfast with butter, milk, raw sugar, and some jam, um, and having your bo bone broth and pate and blueberry muffins for dessert um, with sweet potato fries and ketchup and orange juice. You know, like it's not, I'm not doing this to be like, huh, this is an extreme diet. Look, it, this is just my day-to-day -day diet. Seriously, I ask the people that come and stay with me for weekends or ask my wife, like it's just my diet. Um, and I consider myself healthy. Uh, all the tests I've done of late have shown that I'm healthy. I feel good. Performance is good. Uh, sleep's amazing. Um, you know, th th there's no issues that I, um, have, I have had a lot in the past. Um, but the point is what I'm doing and what I'm eating, it can be done. Um, by anyone, I, I believe. Sure, if you go in and having chicken liver pate from the shop and it's full of like soy bean oil and the chicken's liver is from, you know, commercial feedlot chickens um, and it's got God knows what like preservatives in it. Yeah, no, nah, it's junk. You know, likewise with the milk, if it's horrible skim milk, pasteurized, homogenized junk. Um, if the cookies are full of like margarine and stuff, junk, right? It's not going to work. You can't just copy paste this and go to the shop and buy these ingredients. Remember every, all but one of these meals I prepared, um, all the baking, it was all the pate. I made that the sausages, sausages were from our home kill, uh, made from the local butcher here. You know what I mean? Like everything is quality, quality food and organic where possible. Like the juice was, uh, organic juice sauerkraut, organic cabbages, uh, virgin coconut oil. Um, let's put, pick up another day here. Um, organic maple syrup, organic eight dates, uh, yogurt. I made some yogurt myself. The other stuff when I don't make it is organic New Zealand yogurt. Um, pumpkin, we grew that ourselves. Eggs are from our farm. Uh, feta cheese that was bought. Spinach that would have been organic. So sometimes we can't get organic, which kind of sucks. Tapioca flour is organic, butter, New Zealand grass-fed butter. Um, do you see what I'm saying? Like it's it's all quality stuff. Ginger beer it was actually, oh, the kombucha, sorry. that I made that kombucha from home. Um, potato, organic, homegrown potatoes. Um, yeah, I hope you get what I'm saying. The point is quality is the key. All right, quality, and if you've got a healthy body, healthy sleep, healthy sleep cycles, sun cycles, all of that, um, there's no reason why you can't eat like this as well and eat to the same level that I'm eating. Um, and I don't, I'm not eating for training. This is just my general diet. I just eat for the enjoyment of eating and to fill me up. I like food and I like quality food and, um, yeah. So anyway, if you want to learn more about that and if you too want to eat like this, 
hormone reset program at alexvegas.com. You'll see the uh, links for it. Otherwise, just go to store and uh, hormone reset program or just drop a comment below and I'll help you out. But yeah, that, that's everything. If you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, post a question below. If you like this and you kind of like these kind of weird experiments that I'm doing, please sign up to my email list because you'll be the first to hear about more. Uh, if you have any recommendations for me, if you've seen something in this data, you're like, Alex, this is really bad. Yeah, like, let me know. I mean, I'm all ears. Um, and if you do want to get started on your own health journey, hormone reset program. It's got a name all over it. All right, I'm leaving it there. Thanks.